please put your homes together for your next performer, Maud Pie! What do you call an alicorn with no wings and no horn? Earth pony. <laughs> but seriously, being an earth pony isn't so bad. We've got magic powers too, like walking around and picking stuff up with our teeth. That's, That's sarcasm, by the way. My favorite thing to listen to is plastic rock. The accumulation of sediments over millennia forming to create sandstone, shale, and breccia. It sounds something like this. And that's my time. was my timing. <laughs> you got me. Come on, let's celebrate sister style. We could get matching stickers that say eyes on the pies. Then show them off at the Ponyville sticker convention that I can plan for tomorrow if you want. Actually, I'm busy tonight. Aw, that's what you said yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before the day before that. It's just... We haven't hung out in a really long time because you always have other plans, even when you promised to build whipped cream pyramids with me. I know. I am sorry, Pinky. The reason is I have a... Apology accepted! As long as we get some serious sister time before your birthday. And there's uh, definitely no reason I want to hang out before your birthday. Just, uh, you know, not planning anything special. Okay. What about tomorrow morning? Okay. Just you and me. Best sister friends forever! Best sister friends forever. I can't wait for tomorrow to be today! Tomorrow is today! Who's ready for some fun times at Sugar Cube Corner? The answer is you! I would also accept Maud. Maud? Just me, reading. Story checks out. Or does it? It does. But are you sure there's no pony hiding? 
in your closet? Pinky, I don't have a closet. Is everything okay? No. Who's supposed to go birthday cake shopping with Maud today? And ruin her surprise party? I wasn't going to tell her why, silly. But now I can't even find Maud. I'm usually way better hide-and-seek than this. Well, she probably just found a new rock formation and forgot you two were going to hang out. Tell you what, you take care of the cake and I'll look for Maud. Really? Thanks, Starlight! Just checking. I gotta get very important ingredients for a very important pony's cake. And it's gotta be tippy-top, super-duper secret. Technically, it's not your turn yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to cut in front of any pony. Um, what you doing? I am currently speaking to a pony at a baking supply shop two minutes before it closes for lunch. Right. Okay. Just that I'm trying to plan a party here and the clock is ticking while you, um... Uh, what are you doing anyway? I am currently speaking to a... I mean, can I help you move this along? What are you looking for? Rolling pins, cupcake chips, cookie cutters with tails and fins? Goodbye. That's what you've been standing here all this time to say? I was deciding between goodbye and see you later. Uh, but they're the same thing. Technically, they're very different. See you later implies an event in the near future wherein we see each other. Goodbye expresses good wishes where parting or at the end of a conversation. Yeah, same thing. I will not apologize for speaking with precision. In that case, apology not accepted. Goodbye, let her see you, same thing. Oh, can you believe that guy? Huh? Out to lunch? Oh, come on! Ugh, no mod, no cake, no anything. And how annoying was that pony? Who takes that long to say goodbye? Or was it, see you later? Ugh, now he's got me doing it! Hello, Pinkie Pie. I'm sorry I wasn't around this morning. Oh, psh, what are you apologizing to me for? I'm not upset, you silly willy. The reason is, I met some pony... Wanna hang out right now? I mean, I can see you're not doing anything with anybody else. Unless they're invisible or really small. Pinky, the reason I've been so busy is that I have a boyfriend now. A what? A boyfriend. A what? A boyfriend. What? A boyfriend. That's so exciting! My sister in love! Technically, we're in like... Tell me everything! Who is he? What's his favorite color? Does he like ice cream? If he were a bird, what kind of bird would he be? Wait, is he actually a bird? Oh, I don't know because he have not told me anything yet! You'll like him. We have a lot in common. Well, I love you! So I know I'm gonna love your boyfriend! Oh, I can't wait to meet him! You don't have to. <gasps> He's a rock! And you love rocks, so it's perfect! <gasps> Is Boulder jealous? No, behind the rock. Mudbriar, are you back there? Technically, not anymore. Pinkie Pie, meet Mudbriar. Technically, we've already met. You? Yes. You? Yes. You? Yes. I mean, haha, <laughs> you! You, you, you! Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, let's start over. Hi, I'm Mod Sister Pinkie Pie. I know. So, how did you two meet? At a rock show. Oh, you're into rocks too? No, I like sticks. Then why were you at a rock show? It was a petrified wood show, which technically makes it a stick show. Except that in the permineralization process of petrification, 
all organic material is replaced with silicates, i.e. rocks. While retaining the original structural elements of wood, QED, it was a stick show. I'm really into sticks, too! They're great for hitting pinatas! Thank you. Oh, uh, you want to go first? That is stick abuse. It is? I'm sorry. Oh, this is awful. I am not being a very good sister. Let's start over. I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've already met. You should introduce Pinkie to your pet. Oh, your pet likes fetch. This is my pet, so no. Aw, look at Twiggy and Boulder playing together. They're adorable. It's just a stick. Don't be rude. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One more time. I'm Pinkie Pie. Nice to meet you. Technically, we've already met. a boyfriend? Ah! How could she like someone so weird? He has an inanimate object for a pet. So does Maud. Boulder has ten times the personality of some random stick. Mudbriar, too, for that matter. He's not like Maud at all. Maud is hilarious, friendly, caring, and easy to talk to. Yep, that's Maud. But this guy is awkward, quiet, and kind of... Strange! Uh, that also sounds like Maud. <laughs> You're so funny, Starlight. Maud is nothing like Mudbriar. If she were, then we wouldn't be best sister friends forever. Well, Maud obviously likes something about him. <laughs> Maybe you just need to spend more time with him. Find out what you have in common. That's easy! Nothing! You both care about Maud. I know, he could help you with her party. I guess. And I'll keep Maud busy while you and Mudbriar plan the best surprise birthday ever. That I can do. Listen, Maud's birthday is tomorrow, and there's no time to waste. You're not afraid of slides, are you? No. What? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Technically, due to the speleothems growing from the ceiling, this is more of a cavern than a cave. Maud taught me that. Yeah, okay. Here's what I'm thinking for her surprise party. Edible rock candy plates, gem-shaped ice cube, a pebble pinata. Uh, we'll skip that one. Might I make some suggestions? Oh, suggest away! That's why you're here. You and me, planning. Friends! I have a vision board of everything Maud loves, and none of those things are on it. Hmm. Let me see this vision board. It's not a physical thing. I'm envisioning it. Well, I enter through the large door of my mind palace and enter to the back where I have all of my books and possessions, and what do I encounter? The mod room. None of those things are there. Just as I thought, Maud doesn't like surprises. Where does it say that? She never told me that! Mm, it sounds like she was protecting your feelings. She's very caring that way. Stop acting like you know my sister better than me! Technically, I never said that. Well, technically, I don't care. And since I've been best sister friends forever with Maud my entire life, I think I'm the expert here. Oh, but fine. If you don't believe me, let's ask her. But we have to be super sneaky. Can you be more specific? No! Huh. You must be Mudbriar. I'm Starlight Glimmer. Nice to meet you. I've heard great things. I'm so glad the two of you are spending time together. So, how's it going? 
Mudfire and I have just spent the best time bonding! And we're really starting to make some headway, becoming besties, except for one teensy-weensy disagreement that maybe you could settle, Mod. See, Mudfire here seems to think that you don't like surprise parties. Isn't it funny how wrong he is? I like surprise parties. Hmm. Because I know they make you happy when you throw them for me. See? Wait, what? I'd rather just do something small with you, Starlight, Boulder, and Mudbriar for my birthday. No party? No party? Did he put you up to this? Mm-mm. Maybe you should consider, I don't know, taking things a little less serious with Mudbriar because he's kinda, sorta, impossible to like! Hey, Mudbriar, have you ever flown a kite? <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. See, the first thing you should do is... I just can't believe you would choose sitting around with him over a party with your own sister. I didn't choose either of you. Technically, I said I wanted to be with both of you. <gasps> Technically? Oh, you even like the way he talks? Everything about him makes me happy. <gasps> then... I guess you don't need a best sister friend forever anymore. Pinky. Uh, wait, let's all slow down and talk about this. No! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> I don't understand. How could Maud like Mudbriar? Is it opposite? Not shy, and I hate animals. Fashion? Not for me, darling. <laughs> An apple a day is downright disgusting. Slow and steady wins the race. I never learned to read. <laughs> <laughs> Sis, if you're gonna be here, you gotta work. No. You're probably wondering why I came back to the family farm in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Well, it all started when... Less talking, more farming. Mm -hmm. It's just, Maud has a boyfriend. I'm not jealous. Who said anything about jealous? Don't be. He's super duper weird. And somehow he tricked Maud into liking him. I came home because you two know her better than any pony. What am I missing? What did she see in him? What does he have that I don't? <laughs> Back up, Pinkie Pie. You look as miserable as I feel all the time. It's just that I love Maud and I want to love Mudbriar, but I can't see anything to like about him. Ugh, fine. We're taking a work break. Come on. I'm looking at a sparkling bright blue and white rock. See it? You mean that lumpy gray one? No, the beautiful blue and white one, right there. I would not describe that as beautiful blue or white, but <laughs> okay. Show her. It's a geode. The outside looks like a regular rock, but the inside is filled with beautiful gems. So you're saying I should crack open Mudbriar like a rock! It all makes sense! No, wait, it doesn't. It's a metaphor, Pinky. You see Mudbriar as a rock, but Maud sees him as a gem. Even if you never see past his dullness, you can see how happy he makes Maud. And to his sister, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Oh, limestone marble! What I'd do without you two. Bye, bye. Okay, okay. You're crushing me to gravel, Pinky. I really owe Mudbriar an apology. <gasps> and I owe Maud a party. I just hope I'm not too late. 
I brought you an olive branch to say sorry. I was really unfair to you, and I'm ready to listen to your ideas for Maud's birthday. If you still want to plan it together. Technically, this isn't even an olive branch. It's a Quercus, most likely Castinia folia. Oh, come on! Uh, sorry, keeping it together. And I love a good Quercus. Friends? Friends! Now, do you have any ideas for the party? There is one. This is my favorite party ever. It was all your amazing boyfriend's idea. He said the best present would be me throwing you a surprise party you didn't have to go to. Technically, it wasn't a surprise because she could see the pre-party preparations from up here. Technically. 